Uh, Rob Tibbetts, the father of Molly Tibbetts, is telling Fox News Channel that the body found is indeed his daughter, Molly. Uh, we were going off of sources telling Fox News up until now, and he is now confirming that it, it was indeed Molly, his daughter, uh, his 20-year-old daughter. Uh, and he said that he will have more comment for us shortly. And remember, her father had been on the ground involved with the search uh, since he got that phone call that she had gone missing that day in July. And he just recently, within, I believe, the last 24 hours or yeah. so, was Yesterday. turned back to his home in California. Yeah, as a prosecutor and in the, in the private sector, I've dealt with a lot of missing persons cases. And when you're working with the family, time goes on and people hold out hope, the family, the friends, hoping that their loved one will be found alive. And this is certainly a tragic end. And as the family finds out more about how she died, that's, there's nothing more painful than that. What, what type of lessons can we learn from this when you have these type of uh, cases with young women jogging who, who are, are brutally murdered? Well, it's not just young women, but people who are jogging are vulnerable. And we don't know for sure that she was abducted when she was jogging. We'll learn a lot more, and police are certainly learning a lot more by looking at the body now, finding out what happened. Did she go with someone she knew? Was she abducted with, by a stranger? There's a lot of information that police are certainly trying to piece together right now. So the Iowa Division of Criminal Investigation um, has planned this afternoon news conference. We will get an update from them. Uh, it has been quite a journey for the, the community there, too, that has rallied around this family and, 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 and supported the father and the mother in the search for their daughter. And, and now she, her body has been found, the father just confirming. Dan Shore, thank you.